And welcome everybody. You are with the Skeins Diaries, Monday the 25th of July, episode 180. Where do they go? Uh, and of course you're here with Marie for another Monday morning. Welcome along. Uh, if you are here in New Zealand and you are in the top half of the country, I hope you're staying warm and dry and getting some knitting done. You've grabbed your cuppa, you're up in front of the fire, got the cat or the dog in very near proximity and you're able to actually get some quiet time uh, because it is miserable miserable utterly miserable it is gray and it is cold here and I think we're about to get precipitation very soon so it is absolutely perfect nutting weather perfect nutting weather over the weekend here did get a little bit done on the show G. in fact I got about that much done um, which may not seem a lot but I am uh, trickling away on it now, for those, I'm doing Shoji by Nora Gowan, and I have to knit this huge long strip, which is two and a half metres long. So I finally laid it out on the dining room table and measured it up yesterday, and I'm at about 1.85 metres. So I've still got a wee way to go, but um, I'm just chipping away at it. I'm quite determined to get it done for Knit August Nights, which is, of course, um, a month away now. Where does that go? Uh, so that's exciting too. So... I have spent some time working on that today, so, oh, over the weekend. So that has been some progress, and I'm being completely monogamous with it because I'm quite determined to get it done. So that is awesome. Very enjoying, very, very much enjoying that. So, oh, good morning. Everyone is coming in this morning. So good to see you. Yes. So that is what I've been up to on my needles. I'm wanting to get it done, though, because I have, I've already kind of got my next, um, pattern lined up and I wouldn't mind getting stuck into that as soon as possible so that's always a a good reason to to get finished I have to say you guys loved the snug promotion over the weekend uh poor old Heather she's running around out there uh she's snugged up to, she's snugged up and rugged up she's uh got so much snug going out so uh yeah well done on that it was a great buy and we're so thrilled that lots of that snug now has very good happy homes uh I've got some new things I'm going to tell you about today. You guys get to hear about it first before I put the newsletter out. Woohoo! So that's your little treat. But we've got show and tell because these arrived yes uh, on Friday, and um, I wanted to show you these because I have been talking about these patterns in previous episodes, and it is so good to have them um, everything back. And that is from Delene, our sample knitter, and we have got some. Look at these! Isn't that gorgeous? This is twi um, Twiggy which is from um, Rachel Clanahan's, and it is of, of Rachie Knits, and this is this gorgeous sweater. I had this in the newsletter uh, a couple of weeks ago. Utterly glorious. She's designed this in Orb DK. A lot of those Orb colours are now coming back in stock, so I think we're now down to about four or five shades we don't have, but most of the popular selling shades are now back. Uh, this is in Glacier, and isn't it just, and it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love the stitch patterning through here, and the neat thing about the sweater, uh, she's got the size, I think, from newborn all the way through to 12 years. This is one of those designs that you can have in your collection and you know that you're um, going to have something like if you need to whip something up you're going to have something for someone so that one has just come back in it's so exciting it's so good to have that um, and then we also have had Delene doing up some truly myrtle designs for us in the truly myrtle colors and the first one which we've been meaning to get done up for ages we we're going to get it done up in the red and the cream like the original design that she had but now that her um her collection have come out we've done them in that and that is the uh this is phoenix and it, oh, this looks fantastic and you know what i love about this actually is um looking at this one i mean we got delene to do sort of a, a mid-range color but i have to admit it's really great i mean i'd even have a crack at fitting that that's awesome and i love this so this is uh i think this color is courage no, it's not Courage, it's Hope. I think this one is Hope, Hope DK, and then, oh, look at that oatmeal across the middle. But it really wouldn't matter. I mean, it's just any deep shade. We've used the oatmeal instead of the cream. I just think that's a much nicer, softer contrast. And look, that slip stitch colour work, and oh, it feels so good. 
it really does feel great. Um, this is the beautiful thing. Like Delene's blocked all of these for us. And, you know, Southland is a yarn that on the ball can sometimes feel a little crunchy, but the minute it is blocked, it feels amazing. And I've got that with the males out in the shop right now. Like I've got a swatch out there done in my feather and fan and you feel it and you touch it and it just feels so good. And they're like, oh, you know, why is that? And it's like, because it's a yarn that just, just goes, ah, oh once it's had a good soak and it does it feels wonderful so that's phoenix and we have that pattern both in leaflet online and obviously the yarn so if you've bought the truly myrtle yarn and you're looking for something to knit with it check out phoenix but this is my favorite i'm so excited to have this one this is morty morty is now oops got a little bit of it's been sitting on my desk and picked up a look at that now we deliberately have done this is an explorer which is that beautiful dark green we deliberately did Morty in the darker color because the original Morty is knitted in our Chatswood Somerset which is a soft oatmeal-y gray color um, and we wanted to do one that was completely opposite to that to show you what Morty would look like in a deeper shade and I just think this is beautiful you can still see that lovely traveling cable up the front and you've got this wonderful cable down the sleeves um, again this feels fantastic and just I mean that would look so smart and Delene you have put the most gorgeous button buttons on these you need to let me know what these were how much these were these are divine buttons and oh, just looks amazing so these will be going out into the shop um and we're just so thrilled to have them so thank you so so much Oh, so good and it's so good I think nice for people to see those designs knitted up both um both of those designs Morty and Phoenix we actually have available as well so you can just pop onto the Truly Myrtle um site and grab those so it was oh Phoenix and Hope and Silver thanks Delene I couldn't quite remember yeah it is Hope so we're so excited to have those in store so and she's got she's doing more as we speak um we've been a bit slack on the sample front so it's so good to freshen the samples up and i'm actually taking some of the samples i've knitted out of the shop um so i can wear them because i'm cold <laughs> so you know this is what happens when you knit for yourself and they end up you know sitting in the shop for ages before you can actually wear them which is a thing uh but we've got lots happening we've got lots and lots happening claire and i are um Oh, we've got a planning day tomorrow. We're pretty excited about that, aren't we? We like a planning day, you and I, yep. away from here. Um, get and we get, we do get stuff done. And we don't get any um, disturbances because we're rebuilding the website. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. So yeah, really looking forward to that. Really look. We, in fact, I think Claire is going to um, have a little happy dance when the webs. <laughs> I know, I know. It's the bane of Claire's life. The website bane of Claire's life so uh that's what we're up to tomorrow but I know I promised you and I'm going to show you this first so you can actually go and do these now if you wish I know I promised you last week um the dips so we had dragon's lair which I think was week before last actually and then last week we had deep harbor so we have the siblings of those and they are up and live now I did that just before we went before we went live here. So if you want to go and grab those now, you're the first to know about them because I've only just done them. So first off, we'll, I'll talk about um, Safe Anchorage, which is the sibling to Deep Harbour. And this is quite similar to, to Deep Harbour, except as you can see with these ones here, see how these are a little bit more ebb and flow and tonal. So if you loved Deep Harbour, you'll love this. Um, we, the only reason we separated them out in Deep Harbour, there, there was only a very soft, soft shift, and it was within that deep, uh, to, you know, that very dark, deep turquoise colour, whereas this one has got a little, as you can see, a little bit more tonal influence on this one. So it's a little, the tide is a little bit, um, a little bit further out with these ones. So we have got, actually we have had about similar numbers between the two. So these are now up. So if you've already got Dark Harbour, I'm oh Dark Harbour, Deep Harbour, and Freudian slip deep harbor and you love it uh you'll love these too and you could actually do a fade with them uh and they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so those are now live the other one is 
dragon's quest, which goes with our friend Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair had uh, a little bit more warm, sort of fiery tones underneath, whereas uh, Dragon's Quest is, and I've just pulled up, let's get these roughly in order, I've just pulled up a selection of them, these Dragon's Quest there, these are a little bit deeper, so you can still see the little hints of fire coming through underneath, but they're a little bit broodier, there's a little bit more amethyst in there, uh, so that's, you know, those, that's probably one with got a little, the most fire in it, and they range all the way through to like that guy there. And these, I love these. I am so in love with these. So these are also now up. These sold like absolute freaking hotcakes um, the first time around, and they're just lovely. And again, these will tone, if you manage to get some of Dragon's Lair and you're wanting to do a um, a fade or playing around you will be able to do that with these and they're just delicious and the thing I love about these too is you don't need to do a large garment lot I mean I want you to to do a garment lot because let's face it I like selling stuff but the thing I love about these is you could get one to two skeins I mean, two skeins, for example, will get you an ever after, you could do an ever after cow like this in a hat and you'd have a set and you will be absolutely away laughing. Um, and you could, ha you know, have something really lovely and delicious and colourful without having to actually go to a full garment lot if you choose not to. But you could also, the other thing you can do with this, and I've started seeing this happen uh, actually in the speaker easy. A number of you are using this um, in colour work, particularly when you've got a two colour yoked colour work like the gold wing that I have done in previously. Uh, I think the feathers cardigan would be another great example from Heidi May, uh, gold wings by Jennifer Steingast. And you could actually use this in the, the colour work at the top so you're not having to use as much and then use a strong solid colour underneath. And if you're wanting to do that, I actually just grabbed um, a couple of yarns. The yarn that goes really well with these dips in this machine washable DK is Flight Merino DK. They're very good friends, very happy friends. And I just grabbed those and I just wanted to show you that. This is Heron. Um, and it's just a soft, a lovely soft grey. And as you can see, it tones beautifully with that. But it also, the heron's great actually, because it also tones and contrasts really well with both of these shades. So if you're needing a, a, um, a beautiful blank canvas, as it were, that would be perfect. Obviously, there's natural cream. So that's our um, dove. The other one that I think works really well with both dragon yarns is when you jump across the color wheel and you go a complete opposite and you go into a yellow. So you could go bright yellow in this, which of course is always my happy place. But this soft buttermilky yellow, this is um, Chickadee, is actually really lovely because of the hints, the little hints of fire under here. It just tones in and create, and this creates actually a really lovely contrast. And the other one that works really quite well if you wanted to go softer version is Swan. So this sort of picks up more of the pinky warmer shades in there. And this works quite well. So if you're wanting just to add a little bit of flair and spice um, and also just, you know, watch the pennies a little bit, these are this is actually something that you can do and it would look quite amazing the other color i thought that looked incredible too with the others with this with slight tonal difference was uh this is tui in a uh, flight so yeah you just don't be afraid to play around with color um uh yvonne is dragon's quest the darkest in the group of the purples um yes it is so of the three of that um, Dragon's Collection, uh, we bought, put up uh, Dragon's Lair first, which is the mid-range shades. Dragon's Quest is the deeper shades. And then there are only a few lighter shades which are sitting, can you see them there? Right there. Uh, and those ones, um, and these are all very much fire. Um, and those, there are only 30 skeins of them, and they will be going into exclusive kits. So that's what's happening with those. Uh, so yes, to answer your questions, yes, they're the deepest, um, the deepest ones there. So these are up now, completely up now. So you can jump over. I'm putting it, as soon as I've done this, 
I'm sending the newsletter out, so you might want to jump in and grab those before, you know, the swarming hordes know about them. So that is what's happening with them. The other thing I put up in the newsletter, because it's midwinter stitch miss, isn't it? It's midwinter stitch miss, and we love midwinter stitch miss. I thought I will do another gift with purchase, because we haven't done one. And it's, you know, for a couple of months, and it's fun. I like it. Um, And I've got, ooh, reflections. There we go. I've got five of these. Um, Only five. And these are the Knit Pro Rose Symphony sets. And I kind of thought, well, if you're going to be knitting beautiful hand-up yarns, it might, you, it's nice to have beautiful tools. And I, um, I, I mean, I'm, as you can see, a bit of a, you know, I have a lot of needles, a lot of needles, both um, straights. I've, I've got thousands of them. But I do have, um, a, you know, a need, having a really beautiful set is uh, something really handy. I find sets wonderful for traveling with. I have had my um, set now since I bought uh, my set in 2012. Yeah, 2012. God, where does that go? Even longer, actually. And I've had it for, and it's wonderful because I can travel. It's easy to slip into my luggage. I know I've got everything that I need in there. And it's it, it is just the handiest thing in the world to have these this is the knit pro set so it goes with all the knit pro but these are the beautiful rosewood symphonies and they're absolutely stunning the needle quality is divine they've all got beautiful um rose gold finishing and features they work with the knit pro system so if you've got the knit pro system you can use existing cables with these as well it comes in a beautiful case and if you we've only got five of these actually elsewhere i've discovered these are about 225 dollars we've always had them at um, 199.95 go us so already the great value but just with the five that i've got left you will get one of these cute little knit pro tape measures and we love these tape. this is our shop one we love them they're wonderful they're kind of like a builder's tape measure but for knitters um and they're fantastic and these um elsewhere these are selling sort of for 25 dollars. again we sell them for 19.95 um but you will get one of these on those last five sets so just for midwinter stitch must so once they've gone they've gone yeah. So if you've been thinking about upgrading and grabbing a set, now is the time because you'll be able to to do that uh, with those. So that will be lovely. Absolutely lovely. Uh, so that's what's going on online. Uh, we've also got, we're hoping, Ian tells me he's coming over. He rang clear earlier and he said, when was I doing this? Because he wanted to come over and see us and i think he's going to show us a new dip he's been playing around in the die house so that's exciting mm -hmm. can't wait to see what he's come up with so it, i mean it's a project it's an ongoing project we're quite determined to get it to a point that we can have it more replicable and less sort of divergence amongst the um amongst the batches uh, but it's a work in process, progress you know it, no two batches have, it, have come out remotely the same uh, they've all been quite different but we're having a, a tremendous amount of fun in the meantime um, playing around with them which is quite cool I also jumped on Ravelry actually earlier while um before I jumped on here just to see what was new and happening in terms because we had these beautiful DK yarns and I did see I did see this pattern crop up, the laurel shawl, and I just wanted to bring your attention to that. It's turned up in the top 20, and I think it's uh, happened that way because it's um, it's a freebie, because it's not a newbie. It's been around since June 2018, but it is done in a DK yarn, and it would be absolutely perfect. There you go. There's a great image of it absolutely perfect for these yarns or even the I mean any of our yarns the truly myrtle yarns if you've picked up any of those uh in in the recent buying this is another I love a big snuggly shawl and this shawl is ideal lovely big snuggly it's got these beautiful sort of leaf cables here there is nothing too challenging there. Even if you're an adventurous beginner, this would be a design that you could actually confidently have a go at, I think. And I just thought it was an absolute beauty. And as I said before, it's available for free. 
So I think that's definitely worth checking out. So I wanted to bring your attention to that because it's always good to have things on the go when we're wanting to get things knitted, isn't it? And we, you know, we're wanting to make sure that we've got projects to do, which is so important. Um, what else have we got to let you know? I am um, just doing some sorting through. We're hoping to actually have a few buttons that we'll be able to put on the website. I've got those gauges and those tags. They have gone crazy good, crazy, crazy. So I've actually ordered some more of those. I just wanted, I just did it like a dip in the toe sampling to see what you thought of them. You appear to love them. So I've got more. They'll be hopefully here in time for Knit August Nights. Speaking of knit August nights, pretty much everything is sold out from a class perspective, but it's not too late if you just want to come to the event and register for the event and be part of the festivities, um, you know, get together a friend and, uh, and in fact, a over a third of the people that attend Knit August Nights don't actually do any classes. They just uh, register for the event, come and hang out at a pub by the sea and knit and laugh and shop and just get together. So if you're wanting to do that, there are still a few spaces left to be able to do that. So do um, do that. Uh, you can do that at knitaugustnights.co.nz. So do go and uh, register for that if you think you might want to pop up and have a weekend away here in the Bay. And of course, we always have lots of fun uh, festivities and activities here at Skeins. And Libby's coming down from Truly Myrtle. She will be here. Ethan's going to be here. Um, he's teaching as well, and he will be doing some time here in store. The wonderful Lisa F is also going to be here. I'm really excited about that. She's making the trip all the way from Wanaka to come and spend some time with us at can and also here at the shop at Skeins. So there's plenty to see and do. So even if you don't come to Knit August Nights um, and you happen to be in the bay for the weekend, do come in and visit us because you'll get to, especially on the um, Monday after can, I think it's when most of it's, um, they're going to be here in store. And I think Lisa is scheduled in store on Saturday as well for some time. So loads of fun. Oh, speaking of Lisa, they're sitting over there. I'll quickly grab them. We've got some new patterns. girls she's so good she's just gone and made the um cards to go onto the folders there there is some newer designs out from lisa i love them oh my gosh and i love them because most of them are in dk which is awesome because it's just sometimes it's just really nice to have um you know fun quick knitting in dk actually this one here this is the first one I wanted to show you. So these will be coming very soon. We just have got to get these loaded up. But just a, this is Juniper. Look at that. Oh, hey, couldn't you see that in this? Right? Um, with one of those contrasts. Gorge. Now, most of these, um, these are a mixture. This one's little cupcakes. So little cupcakes goes from one year through to 10 years. Um, oh, I love this one. This in Flight or Orb DK or even Albertine isn't that so cute and you know what I love about this is this is such a neat little pattern because if you've got little scraps of DK yarn um, hanging around at home you'll be able to use those up I just love this this is Aspen sweater and hat and again that's from zero um, from newborn through to 18 months and a baby cake and this one is super sweet Slight variation, a little fan, very Art Deco. This is like a an Art Deco baby. This one's called Poppy. And so I can just totally see that in this swan. I think that would be amazing. Or um, Shell and all DK. Beautiful. Uh, this is Sylvia. I think Sylvia is really sweet. Look at that. So sweet. And I love this one too. This is Marlo. This is um, great for older kids. Um, a neat little hoodie. My kids loved hoodies. In fact, my kids, my son, older, my younger son still loves hoodies. Um, that one is gorgeous. That goes up to 10 years. And this is Ashley. If you're wanting a little classic 
look for the little cables and the garter stitch so classic absolutely adorable and of course one always needs a blankie look at that so I will when these are up and loaded I'll do make sure I do a new setup for these but I just wanted to give you a little you know whet your appetite with those very excited to have them they just arrived this last this last week as well um we are so so good having um lisa's designs it's such a godsend for us here that's for sure right i'm going to head off um because there's still so much to do never enough time on a monday uh you make sure you have a wonderful day wherever you are not too hot not too cold and make sure you find your goldilocks zone with your stitching and a beverage and enjoy a cup of coffee cup of tea um and a little bit of stitching time always makes the world a better place does it not i'll be back again on thursday we'll see you then until then have a great day and i'll catch you next later in the week see you later